So what is the best motorcycle helmet to buy? Is there a brand, a model, is there a specific color more safer than others? It's a jungle, but don't worry, sit back tight and I will walk you through the process of buying a new motorcycle helmet. The first thing you have to decide is what is your head worth? And I'm sorry for putting it out this way and not like... What is your budget? Because your head is probably the most important thing to protect while riding a motorcycle. Because don't buy the most expensive motorcycle that you can buy if you don't have the money to buy the protection that has to follow the specific bike. So that is the first thing you have to decide when buying a new helmet. And that doesn't mean that a helmet to $1,000 is more safe than a helmet to, let's say, $600. Because when we're up in that high price range, there's also other things that you are paying for than safety. The next thing you have to look out for is that the helmet that you are looking at or want to buy has the correct safety certification that your country or area requires. Here in Denmark, in Europe, we have to have helmets that is ECE approved. And in the US, it's DOT. And talking about DOT, that is personally not a certification that I would rely on. And if you want to learn more about all the safety certification, I highly, highly recommend go watch Fortnite's video about helmets and their safety certification it is on point so remember to check that the helmet that you are going to buy has the correct certification so the next thing you have to decide is what type of helmet do you want a open helmet semi open full face mx style or maybe a flip up helmet there are plenty of different styles of helmets and i would say that the most of the helmet fits in the category of the bike that you're looking at if you know what i mean you don't want to ride on a cbr 1000 with an mx style helmet just thinking about going 150 and then with a huge shelf on your head not good and my personal preference is a good old full face helmet but i'm also in a position where i have multiple helmets for different types of use but if i only had to choose one I would choose a full face helmet with a double D-ring locking mechanism. Because on a daily basis, I actually ride with the... Come on! Ah, with the Rurock Atlas 3.0 with the newly improved uh, interior padding. And no, I am not sponsored. But the only downside to this helmet is, if it was going to be my only helmet, is that it doesn't have the double D-ring locking mechanism because that is actually a requirement if you're going on track days like me. But the Fitlock buckle is so convenient on a daily basis and I love that I can use this magnetic locking system with gloves on. But for track day use, oops, I am using this helmet. And this is by far not the most expensive helmet that you can get, but it is one of the most comfortable helmets that I have ever ridden with. This is, uh, by the way, the uh, Shark Spartan GT. A cracker of a helmet. And when the summer is peaking at the highest with the temperature, I use this one. This is a uh, semi-open helmet with goggles. Like so and that is actually only just for having a huge airflow going into the helmet but it is only for smaller rides maybe in the city because I wouldn't ride with this on longer rides then of course you have to decide how your new helmet is going to look like and that is probably the first thing that you're looking at when buying a new helmet and for me a helmet is also a personal style and I really want my helmets to what can I say fit the color scheme on my main bike but a helmet can also look cool it is okay 
And the last thing you have to think about is your own personal preferences. Do you like a lot of airflow or do you like less wind noise? Because those two things actually walk hand in hand. And how would you like your padding to be overly comfy and then very hot or less comfy and maybe a bit more chill? You also have to find out which head shape you have. Is it a more oval head or a more round head shape? Because that is actually one of the most important steps when looking for a new helmet while trying them or reading the uh, reviews online. Because the one thing you don't want is to have pressure points inside of the helmet because maybe you found a helmet that looks very dope and you just think I only have a little bit of pressure here. But having a helmet on with the wrong pressure points for a long period of time can actually hurt a freaking lot. So be careful with that step. So next up is about the size and how to find the perfect match. A good rule of thumb is actually to follow the measurement guide that each of every brand has. In some cases, some manufacturers are telling you to go one size up or down because of the shell size. But with all of the helmets that I have owned personally, I have always been a medium size of helmets. There are some different things you can do to see if a helmet is too big. If it's too small, I think you will notice in time. But when trying a new helmet, it has to sit tight no matter what. And just remember that the padding will loosen up after one or two months when the, when the padding has shaped the more to your head. The first thing you can do is to see if you can get your chin, you grab your helmet and then push your chin up and to see if you can get it out through the, the eyesight area. If that's possible, then it's too big. It's okay for a helmet to move a little bit if you push it a little bit on the side, but if you shake your head and you can feel the padding moving around on your skin, then the helmet is also too big. So to round this whole video up, buying a new helmet is a matter of personal preferences. For me, I sweat a lot, not just a little like a lot. So I prefer less padding the right places and actually don't care too much about wind noise. Because if it's ever going to be a problem, I could just use earplugs, but then again, why change your exhaust on your motorcycle to get a different sound? You know what I mean? And then I definitely, of course, want a helmet that matches my bike as told earlier in this video. I, I, I like when the whole dress is matching. I, that is just some details that I really care about. I know there's a lot of people just want a all black helmet, but that's not for me. So that was everything guys. If you have any tips on buying a new helmet, please share them in the comments so we all can benefit from all of these tips. And remember, the perfect helmet is the helmet that fits you the best. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you aren't already. And if you're new here, welcome. It is so nice to see you. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell. I know you have seen it. And also go into my Instagram and follow me there as well. That was it. See ya.